What's happening, guys? Silent Mike back again. Another voiceover, a beautiful training session, a beautiful day. As you'll see, the light is shining down on me right there, right on the platform. Just showing you guys a little bit of my activation or prep for squatting. Uh, just some simple things I do to warm up. Uh, one, get uh, you know my body warm, uh, a little sweat going, and two, to kind of activate my midline and my core. As you know, or some of you have known, I've dealt with some back issues uh, over the years. And so a couple things I do. Uh, to kind of wake up my middle and wake up the connection of my brain, how I'm breathing and bracing to my middle. Um, you know, when you're talking about transfer of power, yes, the squat is a leg movement. Yes, your back is involved. But if your midline isn't rigid, you know, hips to shoulders, basically, one, uh, injury can happen. And two, we can't transfer that power from our legs, regardless of how strong your legs are into the weight, the barbell. So uh, I do a lot of side planks of uh, variations, kind of those reach arounds just to wake things up, get some spinal rotation, uh, especially after sitting at a desk or sleeping if you're training in the morning, sitting at a desk, uh, working all day. Uh, and today, working up to a heavy single. <clears throat> We're gonna talk about breathing and bracing in this video, but first, I just wanna touch on the last video I put up. My main point was being one, me and Alan, we are talking about the one rep max. Him and I talk about training, uh, uh, periodizing, programming all the time uh, in between sets and while we're hanging out at the gym. We agree on nearly everything. Uh, we have a very uh, similar outlook on life, similar outlook on training. All I wanted to bring up is the one instance where I think that uh, heavy singles in training may not uh, work for everyone or may not be uh, exactly what you need at this time. And that's kind of what programming, different modalities, different tools, different variations of lifting are. They're different tools and it's about how to apply them, who to apply them to, and when to apply them. So heavy singles, uh, RPE 8, 9, whatever it might be, can build bad habits if your form already breaks down. And that's all I was saying. All I'm saying is 60 to 70, maybe 80%. If you're doing reps, you know, five sets of two there, six sets of three there, you'll get more volume, one, driving hypertrophy and strength, and two, you'll get more repetitions, more practice to build up that technique at loads that you can handle. When you're starting to handle 85 plus percent, you can handle a couple cues, but otherwise you're just pressing and pushing and hoping you make that lift. If you're doing with 60, 70%, the loads often are light enough that you can really focus on multiple cues at once and really use uh, your body moving it through space how you need. So I worked up to a heavy single there, 500 pounds, talking about breathing and bracing. You guys can see often when I uh, pull or squat heavy, I'll almost tap my stomach. And many people say, yes, breathe into your stomach. But what does that mean? Basically what we're trying to do is really push our stomach out as we're taking a breath. And I like to feel my front of my stomach underneath the belt my sides, kind of these sexy love handles, and my low back. And I like to breathe and brace and push them into the belt. This allows, uh, one, your abs to flex a little bit harder when they have something to push against. A similar um, analogy of maybe throwing a baseball compared to throwing a wiffle ball or a softball. You want to really push as hard as you can into that belt. And then two, what I want to do is flex my lats. Your lats are very, very big. They're obviously inserted uh, near your shoulder and into your hip, uh, which some people may not know. So when I'm squeezing my back on the squat or squeezing um, the barbell into my body on the deadlift, the lats themselves, uh, squeezed as tight as I can, will allow me to also make my midline a little bit more rigid. One, again, the transfer of power from the ground if you're squatting or deadlifting, um, as well as staying safe over time. We're trying to build kind of a barrier, uh, a vacuum or a um, force to really stabilize your spine. Um, yes, our spine is supposed to be mobile, but it's not supposed to be mobile under load. Uh, we want that thing to be stiff, if you know what I'm saying. So in my training, I am handling a couple heavy singles on the squat. I'm going to try to up the frequency and lower the volume, I think, just for you know my body, my schedule, how I train right now, or what I can handle. I can't handle the reps that I want to. My body just tightens up, and then my back will give out, um, or it'll be too tight for me to train again. So I'm going to try to up my frequency. We're going to train about or squat about three times a week, handling you know a moderate single in each uh, with some back down doubles or triples. Deadlifts, as you guys saw, a little bit of stiff legs. Uh, so we did stiff legs on uh, Tuesday, and then I'll do back to sumo, back to cheating deadlifts uh, with a deadlift bar 
no straps, almost full cheater mode, just mini cheater mode on a Saturday. Again, I can just get into a slightly better position uh, when I am handling deadlifts with the deadlift bar and sumo. Uh, and the better position that I get into, the more volume I can handle. And I would rather handle more volume and I'd rather train than feel beat up. Uh, then, you know, doing a conventional with a stiff bar or whatever it might be. I appreciate all your guys' help. Shout out to everybody out there, all the support. We reached 150,000 subscribers, and I, I don't take it for granted. I do truly appreciate you guys. Uh, I'm proud of me. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of us. Shout out to my boy, Connor, who's helped me uh, throughout the years, editing, managing, coming up with ideas. Uh, you know, I've never varied from who I am or what I want to put on this channel. And I know 150K in the scheme of YouTube or even fitness YouTube uh, is quite small, but uh, I am proud of it because I haven't gone away from who I truly am, the content that I want to make, uh, my values. Uh, I haven't sold done sold out yet. One day, maybe we'll sell out, but right now, we're still here to entertain, and we're still here to teach, uh, and that is my goal, guys, to share my experiences, teach you a little bit along the way, hopefully entertain a little bit along the way. Again, just a big thank you to everyone out there. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and comment below what type of videos over the last three years have been your guys' favorite type of videos, and I'll be sure to get more of that content on the way up on this channel. Again, guys, thank you. Releasing videos every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Enjoy this little unveil. We had a cool little package. It wasn't to me because I don't have a PO box, but Alan got a cool little gift. So hopefully you guys enjoy this little sneak peek into Untamed Strength. All right, we got fan mail. I mean, I didn't get fan mail. I've never had fan mail, so I'm gonna just pretend like yeah, this was- Yeah, because my website's on the- or my address is on the website, so people can get a hold of it. I'm just going to pretend like this is to me and Alan, just, just to make go, me feel a good. A whole bunch of quick cuts of me ripping stuff, yeah, yeah. so it would be like Casey yep. Neistat. Yeah, rip a knife out. So this is from Sweden. This ain't fish. This ain't fish. <laughs> or, or meatballs. Or IKEA furniture. Or chocolate? It's like some CDs. Maybe it's music. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Angry Swedish music. <laughs> Oh, nice. I have these, though. <laughs> That's tight. It's Hollis, because I put a uh, Star Rider, one of their songs, in my recent video. Is this angry metal music? No, 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 not at all. I'll put it on right now. Who is this? Oh, there's a note. <laughs> Opening Alan Thrall's fan mail. That's their title. <laughs> Stealing Alan Thrall. Alan Thrall, we noticed that you like Hollis. We really laughed when we saw that, saw the part where you was in the Star Rider video. Here you have the record if you want to blast some more Hollis the old school way. If you sometime visit Sweden, don't hesitate to swing by, talk music, and teach us how to do those squats and deadlifts. Take care, Patrick, and the sign records. Thanks, guys. This should, I feel like this should be on my channel, but yeah, thanks. <laughs>